I am 58 and never want to have sex again. Uh, this is a woman who says she's no longer interested in being intimate and it is a taboo she says she is proud to admit. Oh. Um, so, is this a sad story, do you think, Linda? Or is it empowering in that this woman is saying, do you know what, I'm not going to sort of pretend anymore? I think it's given me up. <laughs> what, sex? <laughs> so, <it's>, yeah, <laughs> I love sex. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't had it for a long time. I've been married oh. 33 years. And so my daughter put me on this website thing, just as, like, a jokey thing. Oh, dear. <laughs> she put a picture of me up when I was about 40. <laughs> <laughs> I looked gorgeous. <laughs> All these 70-year-old 70 70 men were, up, like, getting in touch with me, saying, do you like dog walking? I don't want dog walking, I want sex! <laughs> 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 do you like going to restaurants? Do you like going out to eat? Do you like walking? Do you like walking by the beach? No, no I want sex! <laughs> But why aren't you having it, then? Oh, <laughs> why, why aren't you? Well, 33 years, it's like, you know... So is it more that your relationship's gone into being just... It's just we're getting old and we just can't be after right, half right. the time. But you know what? Can't be after half the time. Yeah, yeah. Imagine saving my ear, don't swear. Yeah. I think... Nadia's suddenly teeth grinding quite a lot there. I think this woman has made a very <laughs> valid choice. And I generally think <clears throat> that we are very dishonest in the way that we talk about sex. Um, and, you know, Linda, I think it's really refreshing that you can sit there and say, actually, I do love sex. I'm telling sex the truth! Life. Yeah, well, that, and that's good. And that's good. But I think equally, uh, we have to accept... Well, not accept. We have to acknowledge that not everybody's got the same sexual appetites. Mm. And, you know... If she decides at 58 she's had enough of it... And My she... appetite's starving! Yes, I know, <laughs> like, I, I know Linda, we're getting that message. <laughs> but actually what she says in this article is that she was <laughs> never particularly sexually motivated, this woman. Yeah. You know, it was never a big think, thing in her life. I mean, the thing is, if... Absolutely, and I think you're right, I think there is this pressure and this idea that everybody's having amazing wild sex. You are, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's food since HRT. But um, I think that I think the thing is, it it, it can work as long as you're both on the same exactly. footing. Yeah. yeah. It's really difficult if 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 your partner isn't, because and 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 I think that also it's important to say that some men at that age, are well, don't, libidos. The agro yeah. was invented for a reason. Yeah. 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 And and yeah, I think there is a lot of embarrassment for people around around sex and like a lot of competitive behavior. And I think I think in a way women it's kind of easier because we talk amongst ourselves about it yeah. a lot whereas I think mm. men I think there's a lot of pressure that you have to stay virile and up for it your whole life. But I mean, you know, there's whole periods of your life you have children, you might have illness, you might have, with me with my menopause it was really difficult. My libido was like Shh. Because, you know, you need a certain amount of testosterone. You just mm. do. You need a certain amount of oestrogen. So um, that was something that really improved for me with HRT. And, and then it reminded me of how important it is. And it's, mm. But it's not important for, for everybody, but it is for me. And I think that's OK to, yeah. to say that and to say that you're unhappy with the way it's going. But you can also have intimacy without sex. Exactly. You know, well, without... You know, penetrative sex. I guess that's what we traditionally that very sort of Laura. To me by surprise. Well, <laughs> <sweet. laughs> but that's what generally we're thinking about in our heads. Yeah. But people be intimate in in very many different ways, and we don't talk about that. You know, yeah. we have such a closed and and pretty uptight conversation about sex yeah. most of the time. And I really applaud this woman for saying that. It's probably just how your relationship is, isn't it? You know, what type of relationship you have got? If you've got a really strong, loving one, then. Maybe Maybe that is part of what keeps you together. Mm. Maybe some don't have that, you know yeah. what I mean? For whatever reason, then children come along yeah. and they're in the bed, you know, mm. so just don't have time. Life, let's face it, life is hectic these yeah. days. And people stop I mean, being nice to each other. Yeah. That's the other thing. And intimacy is being nice to each yeah. other, yeah. listening to each other, cherishing each other. And also when you meet someone, you have that normal sexual attraction. It's all like yeah. rompy pompy in it straight away. And then it's like... You can find time, whatever is yeah, going yeah, on. Yeah, you can find time <laughs> then, right? But, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I just think everyone's individual. Everyone's got a reason for it. And some people have issues that they can't have sex, don't forget. And men, you mentioned men. Men lose testosterone between 30 and 40, 1%. So they will have issues as well that maybe mm. is underlying. So everyone's different. But if yeah. you want it, Linda, go find it, girl. Go try it. it. <laughs> 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 <Is> it? <laughs>
<laughs> does it make you sad? Yeah, it does sometimes. When, I, when I'm watching films and they're all affectionate and cuddling each other and then it goes on to everything else, I think, oh, wouldn't it be lovely? Oh. <laughs> well, that's it, because that's intimacy. It's not just about the act, is it? And I think so many people where they go wrong with their sex life is that be, a distance steps in yeah. and then there's more distance and then suddenly you're not quite looking at each other and you're not really listening to each other and you're snapping at each other. So four plays all day long. It's not just when you get into the bedroom and I think that... Intimacy mm. is really getting to the nitty gritty with each other without even thinking about sex. Are you really into this person? Do you really care yeah. about them? Do you want to know everything about them? Mm. And I think as relationships go on for longer and longer, it's really easy that distance. Yeah. Well, I won't talk about that. That ends up in a row. Oh, that really irritates me. I'm not going to mm -hmm. bring that up. And then that's to, to, <coughs> and then that's what. So you, you might don't think wanna. your libido is actually completely gone, but actually you're just not communicating with each other. I, and that's the difficult bit, yeah. isn't it? it? It's the talking to each other and, and yeah. sort of. If you have drifted apart for a whole load of different reasons yeah. that, and you find yourself, you know, distant from each other, finding your way back to yeah. each other through communication yeah. is really, really yeah. difficult. If you can make that journey, mm. then there's more chance that you're going to be, have affection and yeah. intimacy mm. and whatever exactly. kind of sex life Most you sex want. therapists, will first thing they'll say to you is stop having sex, just don't have sex, start talking to each other, start being nicer to each other, ban sex, yeah. because then when you ban it, then you start wanting it more. <laughs> yeah. Shush. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. So that you can that reconnect. Yeah. yeah, like if you fancy that person, what is that? By looks or by intellect, you know what I mean? Because if well, you don't get on yeah. with someone, then you don't want to be yeah. in bed with them, do you? Yeah. If you've had yeah. an argument, like, last yeah. thing you want is them near you. Yeah, sure. Empty you know yeah. 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 Exactly. I know, I know. <laughs> but, but there are also bad relationships with good sex. Yeah. So it doesn't always Absolutely, mean yeah. that... Uh,